hey what's going on everyone welcome back to my channel tech 69 in this video we are going to take a look at this auxiliary modules in matter sprite which are used for scanning fuzzing etc in this video we are going to do some port scan with uh, matter sprite so the starting thing is we need to type msf console so this is where we gonna use the matter sprite most of the time and our target we are going to scan is meta sprite 2 which is an uh, intentionally vulnerable recreated let's see this ip address and it says 192.168.67.132 so we need to scan this machine using our meta sprite modules so we all know the end map is an scanner you need to you can run version scanning say 1000 ports 192 132 so this is basically 1 to 10 1000 ports scanning on that machine this is basically end map but we do have another sort of end map that is called db underscore end map it's just normal in map but it stores the results in the database so let's type db underscore nmap minus v for verbose and version scanning thousand ports and our target oh ok I think I need to start my database server now let's see if the database is connected or not okay we can check the database connection using db underscore status it says connected to msf there we go now we can enter db underscore nmap verbose and version scanning say ports 1 to 1000 and our target and the results are stored in the database automatically when you run the scanning okay another important use is to store this output into this format nmap format grep grepable nmap format and xml format test and the output are stored in three different file formats I recommend Heidi using the XML format but storing the three different formats is also fine okay now we need to look at some auxiliary modules now we need to search for port scan oh, there you go so these are the eight port scanners available in the matter sprite to use them let's say we use this normal TCP scan so to use the any module in the matter sprite you need to type use and space and the path to that module and hit enter now you can see this msf, MSF file has turned into this module name now we need to set some options to scan right like ip address of the target machine and some ports or whatever it is to do that we need to type show options it will display the options for that available module say you need to 
to do the tcp port scan so you need to the concurrency delay jitter uh, ports r host threads etc and time out so we need we are going to set some options and do the scan okay for that you need to type the set command set and we say r host and that there you can give the side annotation to to like 24 to scan the whole network range so for just now this video purpose we are going to give only one host hit enter now again now again if i run the show options command you can see that r host parameter has been set to this value so let me set some threads to 10 so that your scan will be much faster than a normal one let's say pause okay now we can run the command using run command now we can see this all ports are open 23 21 22 and so on So this is how a module, auxiliary module ports can works, and you can and you can check try out all these uh, scans. These are basically almost in N map, like uh, XMAS scan, SIN scan, etc. Okay, this is. Yeah, I forgot. Okay, previously we have saved the format into test. Now, if we can go to this so our home directory and if you type ls, and you can see this there is test dot gn map, grippable n map, and test dot n map. Okay, let's use this cat dot, and you can see there. This is all information it has scanned about our target machine. you can see and map initiated and the date and the command issued and all these ports and as you can see and map dot and map version is somewhat uh, nice to display than grippable and map grippable and map is used to Sort some ports like TCP ports and UDP ports. After we issue the grep command, it will be in the neat format. But just this format is also nice.